gathered here at the National Military Cemetery in Abuja are government officials, military hierarchy and families of slain personnel of the Niger State attack for the burial ceremony of 20 slain personnel. As it is with military tradition, the burial ceremony witnessed ceremonial rites laid by the ministers of defense, service chiefs and family members of the deceased. The chief of defense staff, General Christopher Musa, vowed to hunt down the killers and avenge the death of the personnel. To the men and women who continue to serve in the armed forces wherever you are, I want to express my deepest gratitude. Your commitment to defending our nation, even in the face of great peril, is truly commendable. You carry the torch that our fallen heroes have passed on, and we stand by your side as you confront the challenges that lie ahead. To the bandits, terrorists, and perpetrators of violence who seek to sow division and fear among our people, know this. Our resolve will not waver. We will hunt you down. We will bring you to justice. And we will restore peace and security to, our, to every corner of our nation. Your actions may cause pain and suffering, but they will never extinguish the spirit of unity and resilience that bonds within us. The CDS and service chiefs thereafter handed over the folded national flag to the families of deceased personnel. While the remains of the deceased personnel were prepared to be lowered down to Mother Earth, 21 volleys of gunshot salute were fired in honor of the slain heroes. Prayers were offered for the peaceful repose of the deceased personnel, after which the bodies were laid to rest. John Tena, ITV News.